It's time for another episode of Stump a Corner. Welcome to another episode of America's slowest growing game show, Stump a Corner. Today, we have a uh, nerd extraordinaire, <laughs> Spike Ferriston. I always get his name Ferriston. Right, okay. You can just call me Spike. Spike, Spike, Spike is Spike. good. Returning guest, Spike Ferriston, is the epitome of a successful multi-hyphenate. Highly entertaining TV personality, Emmy-nominated writer, and a popular podcaster. But can we add car nerd to that list? Let's find out. Here is your blindfold. This is a brand new, this is also a training bra. Here, put that on. If you take handcuffs out, I'm out. All right. Okay, you got it on? Yes. Wait a minute, you put your hands up like you could see. All right. Because <laughs> right. I think you do that boxing joke every time you do this gang. All right, let's open the garage door. My paisans really knew what they were doing when they built this 1962 Maserati 3500 GT. With its 3.5 liter straight six with two spark plugs per cylinder, this beauty can really fly. And at just over $11,000, that was a lot of money in 1962. My parents paid nineteen five for our house in 59. Okay, there you go. This is very hard. Well, it's a uh, hard top, we can see. Right. This is gonna be really hard. I thought it would heighten my senses. I think it's dulling them. Is that a diesel engine in the front? No, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what era do you think it is? I think we are in the early 60s. It is the 60s. And the engine sounds bigger, too. Is this a V8? No. Bigger? V12? No. So it's a four-cylinder. No. Six. Boy, don't ever go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> is this car built in France? No. Okay. Was it an expensive car in its day? Yes. It was a very expensive car in its day. Would it be a Maserati? It is a Maserati. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Take off the blindfold. Oh, wow. Wow. It's a Maserati 3500 GTI. It's beautiful. Wait, you ready to go back and try number two? Let's try number two. Though not exactly a household name, at least on this side of the ocean, Czech Republic-based Tatra is one of the oldest vehicle manufacturers in the world. And this unique-looking 1938 T87 is a real gem on the Tatra timeline. Selling for the equivalent of approximately 5,700 US dollars 85 years ago, T87 exudes charm and sophistication, as well as engineering. Three headlights. <laughs> wow. Some sort of air intake. So this is rear-engined and a Louvre. You have a country of origin. Uh, not yet. OK, not yet. I want to oh, was that the door? That's the door. Let's open the door. That's a suicide door here. That's a suicide door. I don't think the manufacturers quite use that term, <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, wow. Very comfortable, whatever it is. That's bigger than a, a six. That's an eight. That's an eight cylinder. That's correct. OK. So this feels like a banjo-style steering wheel. It, exactly, a banjo-style steering wheel. Right? Feels like we're in the 50s. No, you wouldn't be wrong for guessing you in the 50s, because this car was at least 20 years ahead of its time. Oh, OK. Is it German-made? It is not German. But it's like a German car. It's like a German car. When I first talked to you about Porsches, right. you told me about a car that was made in Czechoslovakia. That's correct. And that car was a Tatra. A Tatra. I don't know the models, but it was a Tatra. Take off your blindfold. This is the wow. Tatra. Wow. Spike is now two for two. Can he get all three? We'll find out. Let's open the door. The Saab 93 was only the second production model manufactured by the Swedish automaker. And while its 33 horsepower doesn't sound like much, the three-cylinder 750cc two-stroke engine combined with front-wheel drive made this car a popular rally racer. Even better, it sold for a very reasonable $1,895 in 1958. OK. All right. Four-cylinder engine. No. <laughs> it's a V6? No. Really? No. It's a front-engine V12? No. <laughs> ah. 
It's an eight. No. 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 That's a five. No. No five. It's a none. What do you mean? No. It's a so it's a, a, a V10. No. <laughs> Three. Three. This car won a lot of races. Is it British? No. Is it French? No. Italian? No. German? No. Really? No. It's Japanese. No. Come on. No. Who else makes cars in the world? Well, there's there's a, a big one. Gosh, I don't know. I don't know this one. I, I'm going to give up. You're going to give up? All right, you can take off the blindfold. Oh, a sub. A, a sub. Sub. A sub. Oh. Two stroke. Well, Spike, good job. Sorry, I didn't get the last one. It was hard. But two out of three is not bad. They quote meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Hey, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more clips, previews, and compilations of things we've done on the show, so check it out.